good morning. I think it's morning, yeah, it's 9:10 in the morning on March 25th. And it's 76 degrees out here in Oahu. And Keith and I just walked over in the neighborhood to a garage sale. And I bought $34 worth of stuff. How much did you spend, honey? $20. $20, oh. <laughs> so we had some fun. Um, our devotional today is Out of Faith Through Devotions by Kenneth, J. Kenneth E. Hagen. And you can find him on Amazon and do a search for Faith Through Devotions and Hagen, H-A-G-I-N, and get your own devotional for about 20 bucks. And if you're watching Facebook, I'll put a link in the comments for that. If you're watching the uh, YouTube, I can't do that. Uh, so this devotional today is called Delegated Power, and the scripture verse is Matthew 28, 18, and 19. And the scripture is, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power, authority, is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore. The authority on earth, Kenneth Hagin goes on to say, that is invested in the name of Jesus Christ, and was obtained by him through his overcoming Satan, was then delegated by Jesus Christ to the church. Don't think of church building, think of the body of Christ, the true born again Christians that are one with Christ. Jesus spoke these words in Matthew 28 after his death on the cross, after his burial, after his defeat of Satan in hell, after his resurrection, after his ascension with his own blood to the heavenly holy of holies. But just before his ascension to be seated at the right hand of the Father, Jesus said that all authority, how much? All authority in heaven and on earth is given to Jesus. That means the devil has no authority because all authority has been given to Jesus. So any authority the devil tries to take, he steals it. That's why he's called a thief. So it's given to Jesus. Then what did Jesus do with that authority? Then he immediately transferred his authority on earth to, to who? To his church, the born again Christians the body of Christ, saying, Go ye therefore. So he gave us authority and he told us to go. He wants us to do the works he did and even greater works. Mark records that Jesus said at this time, at the same time, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Mark 16, 17, and 18. Recently, Keith did a teaching on this part of the scripture that says, They shall take up serpents. And serpents was another word for our enemies, or the demonic realm. And, and take up means to remove. So this is called, this is talking about casting out devils and about deliverance. And so we have a confession and I'll say it once and then Keith will say it. He's in the background there holding the camera and then he'll say it so that you can say it too with him if you wish. The authority in the name of Jesus. The authority in the name of Jesus. That is above every name. That is above every name. Has been given to the ha, church. Has been given to the church. Which is the born again believers. Which is the born again believers. The ones that are the body of Christ. The ones that are the body of Christ. So it has been given to me. So it has been given to me. I have authority over all the power of the enemy. I have authority over all the power of the enemy. Praise the Lord. So it's important for us all to know who we are and whose we are and what he has given us because we got to attach our faith to it. It has to be a part of our belief system for us to be an overcomer and defeat the enemy. So God bless you. Have a beautiful day in Jesus. 
Aloha. Mwah.